Hello adventurers, Talisman the Orbital here with another Find Them Behind the Scenes. I'm still working on updating and improving my add-ons. Specifically, I'm still working on my Revival Mode add-on, trying to convert it to use the Minecraft Bedrock Scripting API. Pretty tough task if you don't know JavaScript. You may remember that last time I struggled to get the game to heal me a tiny bit every time I slept in a bed at night. I eventually succeeded, and between that episode and this one, I did a little cleanup and tweaking. I even figured out how to import functions from an external file. Who knew you have to export a function if you want to import it someplace else? But now that I've slowed healing down, let's speed things up. If my character unexpectedly dies, that's fine. I will respawn. But if I have to retrace my steps, that might be pretty boring. Especially if I respawn miles away from where I left off. We've already done that part of the story. If the respawn point moves as I travel, I won't need to travel that far to get back to where I left off. It keeps the story moving. But you're probably wondering what this has to do with the giant letter U hiding in the grass. And why is it alive? It doesn't really control anything right now, and it's not invisible, but that giant letter U is a control entity. Basically, a mob that controls what happens in the game. I decided the easiest way to set my respawn points above ground instead of in the air, underwater, or in caves is to have a target for the command. And if I really have to use the control entity itself to control things, then hey, there it is. I may even have a use for it in future projects. But none of that will happen unless I get to work. It's time to test some ideas. Last time, I made a loop that checked whether the player is ready to be healed and if so, triggered the healing. I'm going to add another step in the loop that triggers moving the respawn point. It won't trigger as often, and I'll add a random element, but I can still use that same loop. I just need a new function. This is where the loop will call the new function, and this is the way I will call it. Let's test it. I just need to travel around a bit, keep my eye out for control entities. Whoops, <laughs> good thing I got the healing to work. I reloaded to make sure that that's not the problem. Okay, there's the test message. I didn't write the code that actually moves the spawn point yet, but the function is being called. And there's another control entity, so they are spawning, just maybe not as frequently as they could. I've added the actual command to move the respawn point. Okay, there's a message. And a creeper! Stay away! I haven't seen a control entity yet. Oh, there's one. Now let's test where I respawn. Not where I was expecting. I have a suspicion about what's wrong. See, that message means the function was called, but I don't see any control entity nearby, so the command probably didn't move my spawn point. There's a control entity, but it's a bad one. <laughs> Run away. Man, this desert is dangerous during the day. But there's a village. There's the UVM control entity, and there's the test message. We'll see if my spawn point actually moved.
store my gear in this villager's chest so it will be easy to recover if this actually works. I'm definitely in the desert. And there's the village. And there's my stuff. You're right, zombie. I still have work to do. The way my add-on currently works is the move my spawn point function calls a Minecraft MC function script that runs an execute command to move the player's spawn point to the closest UVM control entity. But there's more than one way to do it. What if instead I add an event to the control entity or run an animation on the entity that runs the command? I think for now I'll stick to calling an event on the entity. I just need to remember to make control entities spawn more frequently. Oh, I forgot about you. Well, you aren't going to get me. I am. There's my test message. And that seems to work. There's another test message. And there's a controlled entity nearby. It's short ways away from it first. And boom. And it works not perfect. The control entities are a little too rare. I have some ideas on how to fix that. But until then, this is Talisman the Ur Beetle reminding you to lick that button.